Hello, my name is Morten. I am a senior support consultant here at ClickLearn. And today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about how to deploy an inside help and how to build an inside help to uh, your NAV server, NAV help server. So NAV is constructed in such a way that you have your NAV help um, separate to your, uh, to, your, um, to your NAV instance. So you have your NAV client uh, on your computers in your company. They connect to a NAV server, which hosts all your database with all your customer records and all this stuff. And then there is a separate uh, server that is called the NAV help server, which serves as uh, that's your help. So when you click on F1 for help or the question mark, it's going to bring up your internal help server here. There is some Microsoft uh, help already built in. And then you can have uh, all your click learn field contextual help available down here directly. So you don't need to have uh, your users go to an external website or anything like that to access your click learn portal. You can just integrate it right here. So um, I am going to try to show you this today. So I've added this uh, recording to uh, our help portal. Uh, in our sales processes. And then I've built a NAV help here. Uh, the way I've built it was to click on new, select NAV help, give it a name. Then I'll select my server. They can take a bit of time. If you do not have your server name or the specific ID you need to log on with, your IT can help you with that. So here I have my, da my database is available. I'll just choose the first one here. And uh, then I will connect. It will then connect to my server and load all the entities, all my custom pages, everything like that. It takes a bit of time. All right, so the first part I met with is a configuration. Um, here I can choose what I want to see because as you know, every single item in NAV is um, has a specific uh, has specific code or number range attached to it, right? So 21 is customer and 22 is, uh, I forgot what it is, but you can specify the range out here. So if you only want to document your own solution in the number range, which you have reserved for Microsoft, you could say, okay, well, I want to document from uh, 50,001 till, uh, till 52, 51,002, because that's the range I have been allowed to reserve. Um, so that's it. Then you, this is only what you'll be shown out here. Now, then you can choose what you want to produce. By default, it's just uh, the HTML and the, the videos. Um, and also the assist if you have enabled that. But that is not something you do here. That is something you do on your shelf level, just like any other content. And um, yeah, that is it. Now I have pre-prepared one for us, which is already built. So let's just pop into that. So all you really need to do to build your help is to expand this main content page, go to the shelf and just drag your shelf over into the main content. That is all you need to do. What will then happen is that click learn will check all the recordings that are in this shelf and it's gonna cross reference them with every single field and every single little item that is uh, available in your uh, nav. So if you click in the customer name field uh, on a customer card in one of your recordings or many of your recordings, when you then bring up the inside help, meaning that when you're on that, on that, uh, when you're on that table inside of nav and you click on help, it's gonna bring up whatever custom text you choose, as well as a reference to all the recordings that are using this field. So you don't, people don't need to search themselves for the correct, uh, for the correct work instructions to follow. It will all be suggested to them whether on the correct, uh, on the correct card. So in here, I can set up my field contextual help. This is not necessary for this to work. I've just done an example down here in the customer card under name, I've typed, this is a customer name field that has a maximum length of 160 characters, blah, blah, blah. So that's, uh, that's, the, that's the field contextual help that will appear when I'm on this field. And um, below this field contextual help, you will have a link to all the different recordings. So that's pretty much how that works. Now, all I do is that I will produce this 
Oh, also, by the way, uh, if I want multi-language, I of course have to make sure my German portal can be down here. Before my German portal can be ready, I just need to quickly translate it. So let me just translate my stuff here because I haven't translated the names yet and I want to uh, make sure that it looks very German. There we go. There we are. So let me just go ahead and drag that over in our German part as well. There we go. Okay, cool. So let's just save that. And I'm gonna go ahead and produce this. So we're gonna produce it in English and German. While it's producing, I will need to have access to something on the NAV help server. For the purpose of this uh, demonstration, I have installed the NAV's help server on the same computer as my NAV is running. But in your company, you are very likely to have a separate server available to you, uh, which is the NAV server. The NAV help server is just a web server, runs in uh, typically once in the IIS. Um, here you can see the server running and you can see the folder that it's uh, that it's that is referencing here is the NAV 2018 help and here you can see the help folders and I only have English currently um, so that's how that looks now if I want to uh, update this I need to be able to write to the correct folders you will find them here in inet pop ww root so you need write access to this folder because you're going to be modifying the content of the normal help here so you need your admin to grant your access to that what i've done is just gone to properties security and i gave authenticated users modify access that includes myself so now with that sorted out what i then do is that i'll bring up the nav uh, merger tool in view nav help merger Go ahead and run that. There we go. So the NAV help merger is gonna analyze your NAV help servers database, and it's gonna weigh it up against the click learn NAV help you made, and it is then gonna merge additional changes into your database, and you can of course also remove them again. So firstly, we need to tell click learns NAV help merger where the NAV help path is, and you know where that is because we, I just shown you that is down here, right? So let's go into the help. And here we are, here we have English. Let's just copy this path here and put it up here. You could also navigate through this, of course, but uh, I find this easier. Click on analyze, it's done, there's nothing. So we'll go and open the package we just produced. Let's go to view, open folder. Let's just grab that. Here is our package, it's a nice little zip file. And inside of it, let's just peek inside. So as you can see, we have English and German. All right, it's all good. Let's go back here, open the package and paste that. Choose it, click open. There we go. Now I'm gonna choose to merge. And we can see down here that we are merging it. You can see there are 137 that are copied. There was one error, and that is this. There's an error with the German, and I think that is because we don't have a uh, folder made for the German language yet. I think that is the problem. Let me just have a look and help. And yeah, it's because the German uh, language is not available. That's fine. I'll need to adjust that on my server itself, I think. That's all good. We'll just look at the English one for now. So. I've updated this now, so what I'll need to do now is actually just restart the just restart the server. I will click on uh, my sites. See if I can remember how to do this. It's been a while. Manage restart, and the same here. Manage restart. Okay. So if I go to nav and I go and click on help. I now have our clip on Kronos Nav Help available down here. And you can see uh, that we have, this is kind of our, our full tree. So we have our shelf and this is our book and this is the recording we have available. 
all right here is kind of a, a, a quick collapsed basic summary of what's what um, how this is done and of course I have my web view you know this and I have my video directly here all right click on navigation item home sales orders so this is the by default this is try me video I believe um, you can of course uh, always change that so that is that and you can also see a reference this is a reference to all the different um, this is a reference to all the different items that I used in this you can see that the customer name was used um, for example so yeah, that's pretty much, pretty much how that works. That's how you deploy it. Now, let's try something, okay? Let me just try to find the customer name field and see if our uh, field contextual helps works. So, one moment. I'm gonna try to make a new customer. All right, I'm gonna go into the customer name field. And now I'm gonna click on help. And now it brings up the remember the text we made over in the in the inside help. So this is the text I wrote, right? Blah 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 like that. And this also refers back to customer card and customers. And uh, if I had any recordings, it will say uh, see also, and then it would have the work instruction listed here. That's how that would look. So that's pretty much how the how the help is built. Um, let's just quickly go ahead and enable the assist for this. Enable the assist. That is done here. That's it. Let's get some audio on that. Okay. Yep. And let's produce that. So let's go ahead and produce our help again. We always produce the highest level. Um, since we've now made a change to the shelf, which is already a part of this, we're good. So we'll just produce that and we'll just produce English this time because we know our help server currently do not have um, German available. What would then happen if I had German available? Um, let's say I did. If I then switched my language to German, then, um, then uh, my German inside help with all my German recordings and all my, uh, my German field contextual help that I had, that would then be available here, right? Mm, so... Here we go. All right, so we see uh, one update for this one. 137 overrides, cool. And there's two new things. The two new things are the assist, okay? Uh, this is the JavaScript for the assist. And then we see the XML for the, this is also for the assist. This is kind of an index of, um, of all the different assists that are available. And when I say assists, I mean for all the work instructions that you have as part of your portal. So for me, I just have one because I only had the one recording, but I could have hundreds. So let's how I see how that looks now. We just need to restart our server. Let's go to manage, restart. And that was the same down here. All right, go back to nav and let's go ahead and go to our sales orders. Um, and let's click on help here. So let's go ahead and go to our sales order here and let's go ahead and ask for live assistance. Here we go. So the assist starts and it automatically switches. Click on navigation item home, sales orders. It automatically switches back to um, to nav for us. It switches window automatically, and it will take us through our instruction here. Click on the ribbon button. New. You may also press Control plus N. Very nice. So here we have our live assist. That is um, that is pretty much it for integrating the nav help. It's quite easy to use, and it's very uh, it's very fast. Um, if you do have any questions, uh, just let me know in the comments or shoot us a mail at support. And I hope that uh, this helped. Thank you.